Hey there, I'm KJ Walker from Decentraland and Low Poly Models World, and today we're going to take a look at modeling low poly 3D assets. This video is all about squeezing as much juice as possible out of those triangles and creating low poly models for Decentraland. So let's get into it. If you've got a model and it has more polygons than you'd like, the quickest way to change that is by applying a decimate modifier in Blender. If you aren't familiar with Blender, it's a great open source 3D software with a big community. It's especially handy for Decentraland because you can export GLBs and GLTFs. To add a decimate modifier, select your model and then the spanner icon on the properties panel. Click on add modifier and choose decimate. You can control the strength of the modifier underneath and see the change in the amount of triangles. If you can't find the right balance with the decimate modifier, you might want to do a retopology. That's remodeling the object with a cleaner and lighter mesh. To start a retopology, add a plain shape to your scene. Put it somewhere convenient and add a shrink wrap modifier. Select the high poly model as the target, the snap mode to above surface, and change the offset so you can see the plane. You can also change the plane's color to make life a bit easier. Next, enable snapping. Go into edit mode and extrude the plane around your object. Keep doing this until you've covered as much of the surface as you need. And if your model is symmetrical, you can use a mirror modifier to halve the amount of work. There are lots of great retopology tutorials out there, some are linked down below. Another thing you can do to remove tries is to look for hidden faces or polygons which aren't going to be visible in your scene. If you're making a new model from scratch, it's best to start as low poly as possible because it's much quicker and easier to add detail than it is to take it away. Start with a simple shape, make loop cuts gradually and extrude parts of the mesh until the shape starts to make sense. Some great modeling tools in Blender are the subdivision surface modifier, smoothing vertex groups and editing proportionally. You can use smooth shading or flat shading depending on the type of effect you'd like to create and adjust the strength of the auto smooth. Once you're happy with the look of your model, it can be useful to give it a once over to see if any of the polygons can be removed, like the base spaces. Those are the basics for low poly modeling in Decentraland. If you'd like to learn more about building for Decentraland, you can take a look at this playlist. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please put them in the comment section below. Check out the box below for links to relevant documentation and feel free to visit my website, Low Poly Models World.